A Lincoln School is awarded $12,000 after students win a competition for their invention. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto has more on what DAWs students have accomplished. Veronica? The national competition called the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest has students in grades 6 through 12 explore how science, technology, engineering and math can help solve problems in local communities. Dawes Middle School from Lincoln is one of 50 winners of the competition nationwide. It's really encouraging to see a group of young people work together, uh, bring in a lot of different skills and knowledge from, from core classes, from all the subject areas, to come up with this this uh, you know prototype and idea in a national setting. The contest encourages the students use technology, math and the science to help local communities. Deforestation was pushed as an um, issue especially here in Nebraska and then um, so I thought we should use a drone to um, do controlled burns so, and then the project really just took off from there. They want to solve the safety problem for people and animals, along with a decreasing property loss when wildfires occur. The students designed a drone attaching a laser and sensors that would help better control fires. Instead of having something to hold the laser, we would just use tape to um, attach the laser on because tape is lighter. Uh, and then it could just hang on to the original landing gear. The students worked for half a year in the drone design. These students met at a STEM club at DOS as part of the after-school program. There was, high, there was high schools in this competition, I assume. They already, they already had like full-on robotics classes and the closest thing we had was wood shop. You know, wooden drones are a lot different. So I was surprised we were able to beat out places with a lot better equipment for this. The contest had different phases that started in the fall. The team was able to recently work together with a Samsung mentor on their presentations. They are still on the prototype phase of their creation. And looking forward, the students say they would like to work next on a drone that could help extinguish wildfires. For more on this story, you can visit KalakayanTV.com. Veronica, thank you very much for your story tonight.